video. Um, I just wanted to do a quick little video because I haven't been on here in a while and I said that I would do a video for um, decorating my dining room and things like that. But however, when I tried to film a video, I broke my tripod so I had to purchase another one. And the first one that I purchased, it wasn't the right size. I did not pay that any mind. Um, but we're back. So before we get started, I just wanted to show you. I mean, I see that you, I know that you can see some of my decorations in the background, which we'll go over that in the video. But I just wanted to show you some new pieces that I purchased recently that you might still find. I don't know, because I see that Home Goods is putting out new, like, um, Christmas decor. So I don't know if you'll find it. I'm sorry. <laughs> but the first piece that I have is this pumpkin. Um, and I paid $14.99 for this. I love it. From Home Goods. Second piece is this little branch or tree or flower. Oh, you say this is. See, here I go again. But I got this and I paid $19.99 for this. Um, the third one is this little Hello Fall sign I got. And I think I paid $19.99 or no, I'm lying. $9.99 for this at Home Goods. And it is this fall pillow. Um, and it says welcome fall on it. So um stay tuned if you want to see how I decorated everything. We're gonna go over everything that I did in my dining room. First, we're gonna start off with my table. So if you would like to see, just keep on watching. Okay, so right here. I'm just going to add a table runner. I just wanted to do a plain table runner because um, I didn't want it to look like so much is on my table. So um, I decided to just do a plain one. Then I'm just going to add this amber vase with these floor, um, fall florals that I got from Hobby Lobby. Then I have this little stand that I got from Home Goods. I love it. I use it all the time. Um, next, I found this little truck at like a thrift store. And I just added some pumpkins in there. As well as this butter dish that I found at a thrift store as well. And then I got this pumpkin. I love this pumpkin. It's like one of my favorite ones I got from Home Goods. Added that as well. Thought I needed to add some more burgundy because I like deep colors in my fall decor. I love to bring those out. Next, I decided to put some pumpkins in this. Um, I don't remember what it's called, but I added some pumpkins and some leaves in there. I think I saw this on Pinterest. So I just added that as well to the middle of the table. Then we're gonna go in with this pumpkin. I got this one from Home Goods. And then now we're gonna add our table um, placemats to your, their pumpkin. They have like burgundy on them or in them as well um, just to help bring out that burgundy you really can't see them for real but I try to move the plate down so that you can see that it's a pumpkin um, when I add the plates so we're just going to add those next I'm just going to take my chargers they got gold around the rim these are one of my favorite chargers that I have just going to add those Next, we're going to go in with my fall plates. I got these from Home Goods as well. They just have like fall, like um, leaves and things on those. Add the smaller plates. I found the sets. 
I think I found the sets at different times and I was super excited to use them but they're like my favorite fall plates I do have another set that I have but we're going to use these so these we're going to add some we have pumpkin rings those are from home goods as well as the napkins we want to add those on top of the plates and then these cups I love them we're going to add those as well they're really heavy and I got those from home goods but they don't really I mean I only have three but we're going to add them anyway because we're manifesting the other one <laughs> next um, we're going to get these gold spoons forks and butter knives and add them to it I don't know how they go exactly um, I just be making it up as I go but you know if you know you can tell me in the comments if they go a specific way and maybe I'll do that yep so we're just going to add those to each side of the table I love how it's coming out I only do like four sets of um, settings I don't do the ends because I never find six of the plates from home goods unfortunately sometimes I do and then I grab it but most of the times I don't so this is the finished look of the table comment down below if you like it I love it I think it's really really beautiful especially in person but um, I think it's very classy and it's just so me. Um, like I said, the, the floral arrangement, I did that myself. And the flowers and the, the burgundy flowers are so beautiful. The velvet. Love them. So next we're going to go over to my credenza. Um, we're going to add this gold and white or gold and um cream pot with these fall flowers here I'm going to add two books over here to the middle um, I added it kind of all center but I eventually fin fi end up fixing it um, I'm going to add this bowl I had put a whole bunch of different types of pumpkins in those some of them I got from Family Dollar and Hobby Lobby Next, we're going to add this little stand um, for height because we're going to be adding these three bowls that I found at Home Goods, but I found two of them in uh, Maryland and then the second one um, in my hometown. And I think they're so pretty and I use them every time. I decorate with different places so, so we're gonna add those over here now here's the finished look of my credenza I think it's really pretty it's simple um, and it helps bring fall alive over in this area um, yeah, so that's that. It's really pretty. So next, I, I tried to show you my vase. It was too high because I didn't take the branch out. But it was hard to take the branch out. But I just wanted you to see. So next, we're going to start the tip top of the bookshelf. And we're going to add these two books up there to the top of the bookshelf. And then we're going to add this amber pumpkin on top of that book. And then I'm going to use this vase and this floral that I got from um, at home. The vase got like a little gold rim around it, which I like. I use it a lot. And then this I got from Home Goods. We're going to add that. Just to bring the colors that I have in my dining room back into my dining room. Then I have this little bow. 
or vase that we're going to add as well to that. Next, we're going to use these bookends. I think they're beautiful. They're marble and wood. We're going to use those on this shelf as well. And I'm going to add three different books. So, Brown Bohemian, The Lonnie Home, and then this, The Art of Fox. Um, I love all of them. I love the color that it gives. I think they're so pretty. So, we're going to add those here. I kind of like move it a little bit so it's not like straight and it has some type of um i'm not sure what i'm trying to say next we're gonna add this little bow um with some pumpkins that i've added as well as like acorns and things like that um so we're gonna move down the shelf and we're gonna add this homebody book by joanna Gaines. and then i found these little pumpkin bows um we're gonna add down here I love them. One of them, I got to glue the top back on. It kind of fell off when it was in storage. But we're just going to put that there for now. And then I'm going to come back with some glue later on. So we're going to add those. I think they're so pretty. Now I'm going to go in with just like a base. I think that's what it'll be called. Um, and that'll be it for that bottom shelf there. And then we're going to move to the shelf above it. So I have this gold, like, little tray. It's really old. I'm guessing it may be vintage. I don't know. My mom gave it to me. So I'm just going to wipe that down because it was a little dusty. But I use this all the time as well in my decor. So... Um, first, we're going to add some floral to make this shelf pop. So I'm going to add some fall floral. Yes, I still have a tag on it. Didn't take it off. Need to. I don't know why I never do, but well, we will. Second, we're going to add this little sign. I thought that this is really pretty. It says Hello Fall, and it's going to help bring out the color in this area with another amber vase. Um, and that's that for that. That. Thing. so here's the final look of this area i think it's really beautiful i love it so much every time i come in my living room i stare at it but yes this is the final look i didn't do the last bookshelf because it's just pictures of my kids and like i think acorn but yeah so um this is the final look and that's the tall vase that i tried to show you in the beginning of the here so next i'm gonna add this picture here i found these at a thrift store and i am going to add it on a little lopsided but i promise i do fix it it's not like that anymore <laughs> but we're going to add that too and i think it's so pretty it's like gold and things like that so we have two so i'm going to add them on each side of my room where the door opens in I think it's so pretty. I love them. Next, I am sorry about the lighting in this corner. Um, but this is a little vase that I have got from Home Goods. We're going to add that over there. And then I have like this little marble. Um, I'm not sure what you call it, but. I'm not sure what you call anything. As well as this vase and these florals I got from Joanna Gaines collection at Target. Next, I have this Hello Fall sign. I got this from um, a yard sale. But I think it came from Hobby Lobby. Next, I'm going to go in with this gigantic pumpkin. It's so pretty. I love it, and we're going to add it on the opposite side with the big basket. Next, I'm going to go back onto the other side and add the smaller pumpkin. And then I'm going to go in with these cup holders, I'm guessing. I'm always just going through see which one I wanted to use because the marble is different in each of them. So I decided I wanted whatever one I chose and I just added that and I think it's really pretty. 
So next here go the final look of the area over here. I think it's really pretty. It's one of my favorite areas as well. So this, I just wanted to show you really quickly. It's not really nothing to do any for real, but I just added a pillow to this little corner that says welcome fall. This picture I always have there, but yeah. And then this is another picture I have by my windowsill. I didn't really go into detail because I didn't want this video to be super long, but um, let's go ahead and get into the tour. So this is the whole tour of my dining room of how it looks for fall. Um, and I think it's really pretty. So let me know in the comments down below if you like it and if you like these types of videos so I can keep it going. Yes. Thank you. If um, you would like more videos like this, sorry, then keep on watching and subscribe.